Gestational diabetes is a condition where blood sugar levels rise during pregnancy, but usually return to normal after childbirth. It can develop at any stage, but is more common in the second or third trimester. This happens when the body cannot produce enough insulin to meet the extra demands of pregnancy. Early detection and proper management are key to keeping both mother and baby healthy. Any pregnant woman can develop gestational diabetes, but certain factors increase the risk. Being over 40 years old. A body mass index over 30. A history of gestational diabetes in a previous pregnancy. Previously giving birth to a baby weighing 4.5 kilograms or 10 pounds or more. A close family member with diabetes. Being of South Asian, Black, African Caribbean, or Middle Eastern origin. Having undergone weight loss surgery, such as gastric bypass. Most women with gestational diabetes don't notice symptoms, which is why screening is important. But some may experience increased thirst, frequent urination, dry mouth, fatigue, blurred vision, genital itching, or recurrent infections. Since these symptoms are common in pregnancy, testing is the only way to confirm the condition. Gestational diabetes is diagnosed using the Oral Glucose Tolerance Test, or OGTT. First, a fasting blood test is taken after 8 to 10 hours without eating. Then, a glucose drink is consumed. Finally, another blood test is taken two hours later to check how the body processes sugar. This test is usually done between 24 and 28 weeks of pregnancy. But if there are additional risk factors, it may be done earlier. If not managed, gestational diabetes can lead to complications. For the baby, possible risks include excessive growth or macrosomia, increasing the risk of delivery complications, too much amniotic fluid or polyhydramnios, raising the chance of preterm birth, low blood sugar after birth, or neonatal hypoglycemia, jaundice, which may require medical treatment. In rare cases, an increased risk of stillbirth. For the mother, gestational diabetes can lead to high blood pressure and preeclampsia, a higher chance of needing a cesarean section, an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes later in life. Managing gestational diabetes involves several key steps. Regular blood sugar monitoring, usually before breakfast, and one hour after meals. Possible use of continuous glucose monitoring, or CGM, in certain cases. A balanced, healthy diet, to maintain stable blood sugar levels, regular physical activity to help control glucose levels. If lifestyle changes aren't enough, medication may be needed. Some women require insulin injections to manage their blood sugar. After birth, gestational diabetes usually goes away, but women who've had it are at higher risk of developing it again in future pregnancies, as well as type 2 diabetes later in life. To monitor this risk, a blood test should be done 6 to 13 weeks after delivery, then annually if results are normal. If symptoms of high blood sugar appear, like increased thirst, frequent urination, or dry mouth, see a doctor immediately. Even without symptoms, regular testing is essential. To reduce the risk of diabetes, maintaining a healthy weight, eating a balanced diet, and staying active are strongly recommended. Studies also suggest that babies born to mothers with gestational diabetes may have a higher chance of obesity or diabetes later in life. Planning future pregnancies If you've had gestational diabetes before and plan to get pregnant, get tested for diabetes in advance. If diagnosed, you should be referred to a diabetes preconception clinic for support. If pregnancy is unplanned, inform your doctor about your history of gestational diabetes. If initial tests show no diabetes, early screening will be done during pregnancy, with another test at 24 to 28 weeks if the first one is normal. Your doctor or midwife may also suggest monitoring your blood sugar levels at home using a finger-pricking device. Gestational diabetes requires careful management, but with the right approach, most women go on to have healthy pregnancies and babies. Stay informed, stay healthy.